In this video clip, we will add heat exchange to the reaction editor. This is used to add or remove energy from the reaction block. In this reaction block, I already have three reactions, a source and a sink, and I now wish to add a heat exchange. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Add Other button, and I'll get this dialog box. So as you can see, I've already added a source and a sink, so they grayed out and I can't add those, but I can now add a heat exchange. If I click on the heat exchange and I say OK, you'll see there it's added heat exchange and the default final temperature of 25 degrees. There are a few methods that you can use for heat exchange. So if I click on this arrow down here, we can use the final temperature one, in which case we can set the temperature that we want to have exiting from the reaction block. And then you can go into this block here and you can change, for instance, I could say I want this to come out at 90 degrees Celsius. Or I could change it and say I want the final temperature to be the same as the feed temperature. If I click on that, in that case, we will get no temperature change across the reaction block. And syscad will calculate how much energy is required to maintain that temperature. So if I use that, let me save this and go back into syscad. So I'll minimize the reaction editor. And now in my unit, I have a new tab called RHX, which is the heat exchange in the reaction. So if I click on that, you'll see I've now got this heat exchange, final T is equal to feed temperature, final T required. We'll see what that is when we run it and the amount of energy. So if I push solve, this kid will solve. The final T required is the feed temperature of 95 and it's given me a heat gain of minus 689.54 kilowatts. So minus it's having to remove energy to maintain the feed temperature. If I go back into my reaction in editor, let's have a look at the other methods that are available. We can use approach, in which case we can say the product temperature must approach the environmental temperature at 100%, in which case it will be exactly the same. Or I could change fractional approach and use say 50%, in which case it will not make it all the way there. And this is described in the help file if you want to go and have a look further as to how this works. Or I can use power, in which case I can just add or remove energy from the reaction block. So if I want to add energy to be positive, to remove energy, it will be negative. So any of these methods allow us to add or remove energy within the reaction block. 